All right, so I wanted to do some research to find out where blocks like assemblers and refineries transfer their components exactly. So first, let's see which blocks can transfer their components out of their inventory somewhere. It's blocks that when they fill up, they transfer stuff. So it would be grinders, drills, assemblers, refineries, and I guess a survival kit. And also we can find out for some other blocks f from where they pull stuff. And we will do a few of them, of the pulling ones, uh, but probably most of the ones that push stuff. So let's start with the assembler. So there's four ports on it. Let's first of all see which one of these ports it throws stuff out of. And let's actually see the orientation of it properly. Right, so this is forward, this is up, this is right. Okay, it's kind of strange that the forward is here, but still. Alright, so first let's see if just the position of the inventory defines where the stuff is getting thrown into. And in the same way he will put another assembler and put stuff in different order and see if it changes which container it prefers. Right, assembler, let's fill its inventory up and it threw it out all in this container. Let's see what happens to this one. All right, so the naming doesn't matter, it seems like. The position matters. So first it throws into, for the assembler, into the rear one. It seems like what will happen next. Now it's threw it in the top one. Okay. Which one will be next? And it threw it into the front one. Okay. And I guess it will be thrown into the last one. So for the assembler, its order is this, 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 and this. Now we want to see if it's based on the position or on the closeness, really, to the conveyor port, to the middle of the block. So we will need a refinery for that, and let's check the refinery. All right, so forward is here. Right, let's position it like this. And let's do the same as with the assembler right now, and then we move on to the next step. Right, so the refinery has four connectors, so we can put a bunch of ingots in it. And where does it throw it out, Sam? All right, so bottom one is the first. What then? Then the right one. Then it goes to the top. And then it goes here, so bottom, right, top, left, okay. Alright, so now we can check if it's based just on the position of the container itself. So we can do something like that. What if we have this container here, and this would be the place where the first one it prefers would be. So let's have a little bit of distance. Not through the inventories, but through the convec conveyors. And see how that changes the outcome. And... Okay! So it put it into the further one. So... It seems like the position doesn't matter. It just matters... Uh, it just matters uh, what matters. It matters which port it prefers to push out stuff from. Okay, let's see if you put multiple containers here, what will happen then? Bam, put it here, and where did it put it? Okay, so it's the closest one. It can from this port. Okay, and just to know that it doesn't, that it actually just pushes out it out of the port, and does it do it based on the position in space, let's put this to the other side. So, in every way, this con secondary con car container would be closer. Right, let's see what happens now. And, okay! So, it doesn't matter in terms of space, it just has a preferred 
port and it pushes out stuff out of it, no matter how far it is. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. That it does that. So now what I wonder is what if this container connected through the secondary connection, but it's also connected directly to the primary port. Let's see what happens then. Okay, so it it still prefers. Okay, so it just pushes out the stuff out of here and goes here. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't care about the distance. It just cares about the connection. Hmm. Well, that is very interesting. Uh, yes. All right, we know the mechanics now for pushing stuff. Now I want to find out what the mechanics are for pulling stuff. And I am going to assume that it's pretty much the same for every block. So if you need a specific block, you can find out for yourself. So let's put iron ingots in each of these containers and then produce something in the assembler and see from which ones it starts to pull. Okay. Where did it pull from? This one. And that would be... Okay, this one. So if you remove this, will it pull from this container next? And it did. Okay, so the pull order seems to be pretty much the same as the push order in terms of preference. And now it pulled from this one. Yep, it's the same. And let's see if the same mechanics apply with the pulling as with the pushing. So let's do this setup again and see what happens. Okay, let's put iron ingots in this one and in this one. And let's see which one it pulls stuff from now. And okay. So it pulled it from the closest connection by the preferred connector slot, conveyor slot. Huh. Well, that's a very interesting way to do it, I guess. The more you know. <laughs> so that allows us to do something like what if we put. So usually if you just connect stuff in a way like this, so car container would be here and the refinery would be here. Then it would just, the refinery would just put stuff into the assembler when it's fully refined, which will clog up the system. Now the interesting thing is, then what if we connect this refinery through its primary port, which is on the bottom? as we found out, to the car container. Let's see what happens then. Let's see, let's see. Now what if we put ingots in the refinery? And yep, as I thought, it puts them into the car container. Okay. Uh, now the question is, what if we have something with the inventory, but that inventory is not something that can contain iron ingots in the way the refinery selects. Let's see what happens then. And it puts it into the assembler. Ha! Huh, interesting. So it seems it traces from its preferred port, starting with it, to the nearest inventory. And if it can't put stuff inside of it, instead of going further through the inventory, it just tries to find a different way. Ha! Huh, interesting. But I assume if we would put, um, I assume if you would put another auto H2 generator here, then it would still go through this one, right? Let's see how that works. I mean, wait, the only choice for it is to go to the car container. So that wouldn't really be an experiment. Okay, yeah, I thought up of another experiment, right? What if we have damn it, two containers and one of them is connected through the secondary port with one auto H2 generator to the container and second one through the primary port with auto H2 generator. Let's see which one of these it prefers them. And okay, so it still prefers this one. Uh, so that would be 
if he follows the previous example, that would be it trying to go through here, then it trying to go through here, then it goes in searches further, right? And that would make sense, probably, looking at what happened with the previous example. Because, let's see, if you add another step, another thing with an inventory that it would need to search through, what would happen then? Let's see. And it puts it here. Okay, so it seems to, yeah, make attempts to, like, attempt here, nothing, attempt here, nothing, attempt here, nothing, and attempt here, something. Okay. So instead of going through the entire line, it searches through every port with each search furthering its connection by one inventory. Hmm. Well, that is very interesting. <laughs> that is very interesting. Definitely didn't know that it works like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess the lesson is now you know pretty much approximately how the game pushes and pulls stuff uh, and how to do some complex stuff, but you probably won't really go into that complex stuff unless you're doing some really, really automated conveyor magic. But I guess the lesson from it is have a car container between your refineries and assemblers. <laughs> So the refinery doesn't dump stuff into the assembler, which then clogs it up, because the assembler can't push stuff out of its inventory input. And then, if like it's filled with the iron ingots, then it can't produce anything else, <laughs> because it can't just chase on iron ingots. It happens a lot.